Hello, this is Mr. Perez with Module 5, Lesson 2's Exit Ticket. Lesson 2, the area of right triangles. Uh, this will be a short, quick one. I uh, just want to remind you that these exit tickets, you should try them on your own uh, without any support. Uh, close the book if you uh, can do it without the book. Uh, of course, use your resources if you need them. Uh, and then <clears throat> once you are complete with this work, uh, come on uh, to this video or restart this video uh, and double check all of the answers. Uh, question number one, calculate the area of the right triangle. Uh, remember, right triangles are just like uh, base times height, just like a rectangle, except they are divided into two pieces. So divided in half. Uh, so if I can identify the base uh, and the height, I have this problem solved. Uh, and here they are. Eight is the base, six is the height. Don't forget to divide by two. People always forget that. Eight times six is 48, and 48 divided by two is 24. The area of this triangle is 24 square inches, 24 inches squared. <clears throat> Question number two. Dan and Joe are responsible for cutting the grass on the local high school soccer field. Joe cuts a diagonal line through the field as shown on the diagram below and says that each person is responsible for cutting the grass on one side of the line. Dan says that this is not fair because he will have to cut more grass than Joe. Is Dan correct? Is it fair? Is it not fair? Uh, so the yellow side of the field, uh, let me use the highlighter. The yellow side of the field will be one person's responsibility and the white side of the field would be another person's responsibility. Is it fair? Do they have the same amount of work? The answer is yes, of course, they have the same amount of work. If I were to take any shape and cut it in half, it doesn't matter if I cut it in half diagonally, uh, maybe we make a vertical line instead, we cut it this way, it would still be equal. If we cut it uh, horizontally, it would still be equal. Uh, there's, we could be really creative about this and cut it a bunch of different ways in half, and it's still going to be the same amount on both sides. So Dan is wrong. Sorry, Dan, uh, but you have the same amount of work as Joe. Uh, you guys both have to cut half of the soccer field. Uh, so stop your complaining. All right, uh, that was uh, right triangles. Uh, biggest idea was that right triangles are simply half of a rectangle. So if you know how to find the area of a rectangle, just cut that in half and you have found the area of a right triangle. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, tomorrow I will be posting up materials for lesson three.